What is going on guys? Welcome back to our Fortnite video where today we're talking about season four week eight challenges. Now if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you guys drop a like because it's gonna be an ultimate guide on what you need to do to go ahead and complete all the challenges. Now, as you guys know, you need seven weeks in order to get the Blockbuster skin. And of course, if you guys have not seen the Blockbuster skin, I have it. It's pretty awesome. The gameplay you guys will be seeing is me using the Blockbuster skin, showcasing some of the different features that comes with it. And of course, um, all the different types of uh, ways you can complete this uh, week's challenges will be included in this video. So of course, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get into these week's challenges because they're pretty, there's some new ones and it's pretty interesting. So without further ado, number one, this is the leaked version. So let's get into it. Uh, search seven chests in Salty Springs. Now it's pretty easy. Um, there's 13 possible chest locations in Salty Springs, so it'll be pretty tight with everyone who's trying to do the challenge at once, but if you go ahead and do it over the course of, let's say, five, six games, you guys will be able to go ahead and search a chest. I highly recommend dropping into um, the houses that have the most chests, which include uh, the blue house, which has all the way down to the basement, and of course, um, that one broken house normally has one or two um, which you can get lucky with sometimes three and of course the chat the house furthest from salty Which is near that watchtower by the hill you guys can get pretty lucky with chests there Sometimes there's two to three there as well So if you guys want to take those chests, they're pretty normally easy to grab or I think sometimes the one that gets overlooked pretty often is the chest in the gas station that sometimes spawns um, highly recommend trying that one as well because you have to search seven chests for this challenge. Now, the next one is search seven chests in a single match, which is similar to the uh, search the loot, I guess the ammo boxes, but this one's with just seven chests in general. So that's pretty easy. Um, this is like a very chest centric uh, week for some reason. I guess they want to go ahead and increase the chance of you guys getting the brand new. Uh, weapons and the brand new things that came to Fortnite recently, which include, of course, the stink bomb, which can also be found on the floor, but they, they're pretty common, it feels like, in the in the chest. So if you guys have not seen the stink bomb, they're pretty fun to use. Um, if you guys have not been to a location where you can go ahead and complete this in a single match, um, you can pretty easily do it in risky reels. You also drop places that aren't really looted, like the racetrack or uh, places like motel. Um, anywhere in that central area that like people don't really normally go to even lucky landing can be a pretty good spot for the seven chests in a single match You might be able to do that to place it with lots of chests like tilted towers is gonna be really hard to do if you're not very skilled at the game So if you're pretty decent and want to really take on a challenge tilted towers may be the place to go the thing is once you land, it's really hard to find seven chests right there. You'll probably do it over the course of the game, but to find it all in the central location at the beginning, it might be a little bit tough. So if you start at a place like prison, grab three chests there, then move over to like a house area, grab two chests there, and then continue down that path. You have a greater chance of completing this challenge than you do of landing in high uh, fight centric locations like Salty Springs, to the Towers, Retail Row. You might, you're gonna get into a lot of fights and you won't be able to find a lot of chests especially if you make it out alive you might loot like two chests and that's it so keep that in mind when you're, when you're trying to complete this challenge um deal 250 headshot damage to opponents now headshot damage especially if you're not very skilled the game may seem very hard but uh the best way to do it is to do it when the person is down a lot of people are going ahead and doing this challenge by uh the new game mode for the the teams of 20 um so high player based games where you have huge teams where you can just go ahead and take someone out that's down and just shoot them in the head because you can shoot players in the head when they're down and you can do some seriously good damage that way. On top of that, may seem a little crazy, but uh, going ahead and dropping with the AFK players sometimes can reap some good rewards. Um, you can go ahead and grab a gun and then just kill the players that are AFK that auto jumped out of the battle bus uh, to be an easy way to go ahead and complete this challenge. Now. If you have not gone ahead and done challenges before, these challenges can sometimes take a few attempts to go ahead and complete, especially if you're going after the challenges directly out of the week and to finish them. But normally, they're pretty easy to go ahead and complete over the week. Um, sometimes you'll even complete the challenges or the week's challenges um, that don't require you to search something like this next one. 
just over the week without you really even trying to do it. So the next one is search seven hungry gnomes. For the last couple of weeks, there's been a treasure map challenges that that task us with finding a map in a given location. This week, instead, we have the seven hungry gnomes, and you'll be tasked with finding these seven hungry gnomes around the map. And the gnomes have made appearances before, so it's not too hard to go ahead and find these gnomes. I'll have a link in the description of the map to go ahead and find all these gnomes and what they look like and where they can be found. If you guys have not seen the gnome challenge in the past, um, it was pretty, pretty interesting. People loved it. Some people hate it because it's a little creepy, but this one's not too bad. Searching the gnomes is not too difficult. You just got to find the, the locations and you're just good to go and get to the location to find them. Um, next one is between a bear, crater, and refrigerator shipment. You guys have no idea what this means. Um, the bear is outside of retail row. The refrigerator shipment is, um, I think, in inside or near retail row or like near like the wooded area. And the crater, of course, is the dusty divot. So uh, if you guys have not seen it, make sure you guys go ahead and check that out on how to find it. It's pretty easy. Um, I'll go ahead and have a picture or a, I guess right now in this gameplay, I'll show you guys exactly where this is. And this is where you'll find the battle star for this week. So it's a bald patch of grass. Um, on the earth or on the map where you can find uh, the location. It's pretty simple. It's right outside um, Retail row where the bear is and I misspoke a little while ago. I said it's near dusty divot I didn't mean that I meant it's the from the meteor. It's a it's a, it's a meteor that okay It was a crash site of a meteor. You're not looking in dusty divot my mistake You're looking for the hungry bear and then from there you'll go ahead into this location You'll see a broken house and normally I like to land here at this location um, to go ahead and get challenges done that are pretty simple So this is a good spot to go ahead and land at if you guys want to get some of these search chest challenges out of the way But it might be a little bit crazy because well everyone's gonna be landing here So they really made this season or this week a little bit difficult next up We have three suppressed weapon eliminations suppressed weapons like SMGs, silence pistols are pretty easy to come by so if you guys um, Want to just go ahead and do this during regular play. It's not like a super hard challenge to go ahead and complete it's pretty simple. So if you guys have not gone ahead and see this, check it out. Easy to do. Not a big deal. Uh, next up, we have to eliminate three opponents in Pleasant Park. This challenge shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I've seen ways to go ahead and complete this challenge. Easy enough way. Land at Doghouse, grab a gun, kill a guy. It doesn't have to be in one single match. It can be over the course of the whole match or the whole playthrough. So it's not too hard. It's not too hard at all. Do keep in mind that a lot of players will be landing here in Pleasant Park for a fight, so get your serious game pants on. Highly recommend doing it in a solo because these challenges will be pretty easy to do. You can even do it in squads, so just queue up solo squads, bing, bang, boom, get it done, no problem. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comment section lately when I'm going to be giving away this bad boy. Now, I haven't given myself an official date or a timeline of when I'll be giving this away. This is the rarest item in the game right now. It's the E-Spray in 2,500 V-Bucks. I have some codes I can give away since I, got, I went to E3 and I got it. Um, I have personally unlocked in the game. So if you guys have not seen it, it's pretty cool. It's just a little spray of a llama. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here. Comment down below why you think I should give it away and when I should give it away and why you should be the one to win it. Of course, if you guys watched all the way to the end, at the end of your comment, use the hashtag hype to let me know you guys watched all the way to the end. And of course, I want to thank you guys so much, so, 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 so much for all the most recent success um, you have shown and loved this channel. Uh, my Gaming with Gary channel has been a side project of mine that I've just gone ahead and done. And you guys have shown some serious love to it. It brings back the roots of my main channel, of me doing news and covering things I like about Fortnite. And um, there's not a lot of people doing it, so I hopefully I'm bringing you guys some information that you guys may not know about and bringing some happiness to your life with these uh, week, um, the weekly guides I do. I sadly missed week 7 because I was at E3, but hopefully you guys can go ahead and forgive me because week 8 has just dropped today. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure you guys show the love in the comment section. I absolutely love you guys. I could not be where I am in life without you guys, and I will see you guys tomorrow with the brand new, brand spanking new video. And of course, it, I stream on Facebook now. I don't know if you guys know this. Make sure you guys check out my facebook.com slash joblesscarrot. Links down below. fb.gg slash joblesscarrot is where I'm be streaming some Fortnite stuff. I'll occasionally stream on YouTube, but I think streaming on YouTube is really broken. A lot of big streamers have been having the same problems. 
Um, it's just really annoying. So without further ado, I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Later, guys. Bye.